the world's largest breeding colony of gray seals lies just off the coast of Nova Scotia. This gray seal's white coat means it's only a few weeks old. Nicole is one of Hope's most dedicated team members. Hi, I'm Nicole. She's here to meet the men who spotted the seal in distress. Well, I came down and I took a look, and at first I thought he was dead, and then he started to move, and then he reopened his eyes and looked right at me. As soon as Nicole sees the seal's condition, she knows it needs help. Yeah, getting close up because the fur kind of obstructs things. He definitely does look a lot thinner when you really take a good look at him. Oh, I know, sweetheart. I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We were expecting seal pups, but this one was really early and we should have been more prepared, but we weren't, but that's okay. It doesn't take long to get things into ship shape. So we had to reopen rooms and find all the tools we needed to give the kind of care that we needed to give this pup. After less than two weeks at the rehab, Terrence looks a lot different. He's lost his white baby coat. And that's not all. He's a whole new seal. He's a plump, 22 kilos, just eight kilos away from being ready for release. Oh! It is February 13th, and this is Terrence the Seal's first time in the water. Hope thinks Terrence the Gray Seal might be big enough to survive on his own. But to find out, she has to weigh him. And before you can weigh him, you've got to catch him. <laughs> That's a little harder than I thought. <laughs> He's a big boy. Good job, guys. <laughs> but is he big enough? Oh, oh my, wow. You came in at 13.5 kilograms. How did that happen? He ate $1,000 worth of it. He ate $1,000 worth of it. That tells me he's ready. That sounds awesome. Cool. Back to the beach across the road from Hope's. This is Terrence's farewell. Out of the comforts of the rehab, and into the wild. Taking some time, my man with a plan, and it feels good to be on my way.